get into other things, man. Um, we got Oasis Cigars been starting since October 2020. Yep. Why should we smoke cigars? Well, cigars are so there, there's a couple reasons why you should smoke. If you mm. like smoking anything, you know, c- cigarettes, cigars, marijuana, whatever it is. The one thing about cigars is it's not it's not illegal. No. So it's not going to show up in your system the next day. Mm. You're going to get almost the same kind of high, at least immediately, um, that you would get with, you know, things like marijuana. It won't be the same, but it'll be a little bit, you'll get a little bit of a buzz. Mm-hmm. It's way better for you than cigarettes because it doesn't have all those fillers in it. It's real natural tobacco, and it's and it's fun. It's social. Um, you have a lot of business interaction with cigars. Yes. And that's, that's probably one of the most uh, the reasons that I can think of to actually smoke them because you you know you're going to meet a lot of people across business um, planes that are going to help you out. Um, it's just almost like golf, almost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can <laughs> understand that because I think that with cigars, I really wasn't a cigar person at all. Mm-hmm. Um, my thing was when I got uh, married, I was like, I'm when I'm at my wedding, I'm having cigars. Like I, it's the one of the pinnacle mountaintops you can ever have in your life. You get married. Married to a beautiful bride, everything like that. So I was like, man, I need to change my palate up. So when I got, when you started Oasis Cigars, I was really excited because I did not like cigars at first. I I went to the local tobacco hut, uh, into the little cellar that they have and some of the dry ass stuff that they had over there. Um, but what made your cigars different from others? Well, it's it's, it's the interaction with people. So we've been to those places. Too. Yes. And a lot of times you go into those places, you have a lot of young people who really don't know anything about cigars. So you'll go mm-hmm. in kind of not on zero, not mm-hmm. knowing anything. And you would ask an attendant, uh, you know, the the particulars about a certain cigar. Mm-hmm. Well, nine times out of ten, those attendants, unless they're probably 50 or 60 years old, don't know anything about the cigars. They're there just to be a presence in, in the shop mm-hmm. where we found that the interaction with people has been has been the most beneficial thing because now we're educating them on the cigars. We're telling them about the wrapper and the filler and the binder and, and trying to figure out what they like in terms of palate, what they eat, what they drink, and what goes well. So the pairings also help. And then what they're doing in their social circles. Mm-hmm. So that's probably the main thing is, is just bringing the education to the people. And plus, we're a little bit different because, you know, we don't have a brick-and-mortar shop yet. Yet. We're, 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 <laughs> <it's coming. laughs> but we're, we're, we're out in, in the festivals like beer, bourbon, and barbecue and taste festivals and cars and cigars. And now... Like we had talked about earlier, the nation's gun show, which is in Dallas, Virginia. So we're yes. we're their main cigar vendors, and that's you know we're we're in with the people all the time. Ain't nothing like shooting shooting guns and having cigars, <laughs> fellas. I can tell you that right now. But let's talk about some of the stuff you got on here. So let me get to your first one, the one that I fell in love with, your Oasis blend. Mm-hmm. So what is that co- like containing? Because I know that's how I got broken into the cigar world. Right. So what 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 made it different from everything else? So you're you're holding one of the blends right there, mm-hmm. and that's the per- that's kind of like our perfecto a as we call it mm-hmm. it um it has the the cuban seed it has the uh, nicaraguan and dominican filler and binder mm-hmm. um that's a cuban wrapper on it so mm-hmm. it's it's very it smokes very well it almost tastes like a it's like a creamy type of smoke yes. and tastes really good in your mouth the smoke comes out really nicely and it's not going to kill your palate and that's the main thing and it goes well with bourbon and and um scotch and things mm-hmm. of that nature so we love it now, I, I love it, too, because I know when you do some of your, uh, uh, the pop-up shops, you go to all these breweries in Virginia, which is very, very interesting to me because you get to the chance to be, hey, you guys want a beer and you can have a cigar, too. You get to be, uh, what's what's the thing for uh, people with wine? What's that wine? Uh, not a taster, but it's the uh, one that shows you, hey, you want to pair this with that and third. I forget the name of it's it. It's like a sommelier. The sommelier. So you're a sommelier of cigars. Right. So when you have that kind of atmosphere, it, I see why it brings so much more, which is why Cars and Cigars has been a staple in Virginia for like the last two or three years. So how did you, that come involved with Oasis Cigars? Well, kind of kind of like we, we, we kind of like shoot our dart mm-hmm. at the dartboard. We're like, oh, maybe this will work and maybe that will work. The whole thing with the breweries, mm-hmm. for instance, we, we, we had no idea that would work. We mm-hmm. had, and we'll talk about like, I guess, when we started, because we had all this inventory, we didn't know what to do with it. And we had a friend that was working at House 6 Brewery, actually. Mm-hmm. And he said, come out and and, and, and see uh, how your cigars pair with beer. We're like, cigars with beer? Uh, maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. But it turned out to be a thing. And we just started just contacting breweries on the phone and on Facebook and mm-hmm. on Instagram. <laughs> and started inviting us out. Well, the same thing happened with Carter Cigars. Mm-hmm. So Carter Cigars is having an event. They had a cigar vendor. They reached out to me and said, oh, we had a cigar vendor, but he's not here. 
he doesn't, you know, he can't supply us with a cigar. Can you make us your own, our own cigar? Like, sure, we could do that. And we go out to the first event, and it's literally like 8,000 people out yes. there. And yes. we are sweating. We're like, oh, my God, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> <laughs> 